China has unveiled a bold claim about its new J-35 stealth fighter. Its radar cross-section is said to be smaller than a human palm. If true, this could mark a major leap in aviation technology, putting the jet in direct comparison with the US F-35. In this video, we'll explore the claim, the science behind it, and what it really means for the future of stealth. One of the most eye-catching headlines about the J-35 fighter is the bold statement that its radar cross-section, or RCS, is smaller than a human palm. This isn't just a dramatic phrase. It's a specific claim made by Chinese state broadcaster CCTV, which estimated the J-35's radar signature falls between 10 and 100 square centimeters. To put that into perspective, radar cross-section is the measurement of how detectable an object is by radar. It doesn't correspond to the aircraft's physical size, but instead how large it appears on radar screens. When compared with other well-known aircraft, the claim becomes easier to grasp. The US F-15 Eagle has a radar cross-section around 25 square meters, while the F-16 Falcon measures closer to 5 square meters. In contrast, the F-35 Lightning II is often sighted with a radar signature of around 15 square centimeters, about the size of a golf ball. Even more impressive, the F-22 Raptor is estimated at around 1 square centimeter, roughly the size of a marble. The idea that the J-35 might operate with a radar return smaller than a palm suggests it could rival or even match the F-35 stealth characteristics under certain conditions. However, the context is important. The article explains that the reported figures might not represent all aspect stealth. Instead, they may describe performance in a limited direction, such as from the front hemisphere. Aircraft are generally more difficult to detect head-on than from the sides or rear, so a low front-facing RCS doesn't necessarily mean the aircraft is equally invisible from every angle. The wide range of 10 to 100 square centimeters highlights this variability. Another limitation is verification. The People's Liberation Army PLA, keeps detailed RCS data classified, and state media announcements cannot be independently checked. This differs from the U.S. approach, where F-35 RCS data, though still sensitive, has been openly discussed in defense literature. The lack of external confirmation means the palm-sized claim is both a technical statement and a piece of messaging designed to signal confidence in China's progress. To support the claim of having a radar cross-section smaller than a palm, Chinese media have pointed to the J-35's design features and materials. According to CCTV, the aircraft achieves its stealth profile through a combination of a unique airframe shape and the use of proprietary metamaterials. These two factors form the backbone of modern stealth technology, and in the case of the J-35, they are emphasized as defining characteristics. Airframe shaping is one of the most visible aspects of stealth design. The J-35's fuselage reportedly incorporates smooth curves, carefully angled surfaces, and aligned panel edges. These features are meant to deflect radar waves away from the source rather than bouncing them straight back. Weapons are stored internally, eliminating the radar hot spots that external pylons and missiles would create. Even small adjustments in alignment can have significant impacts on radar signature, and the J-35 appears to follow principles established in earlier stealth jets, such as the F-22 and F-35. The second element, metamaterials, is where China's claim becomes more ambitious. Traditional radar-absorbing coatings, like those used on earlier stealth aircraft, work by absorbing radar energy and dissipating it as heat. Metamaterials, on the other hand, are engineered composites that can bend, scatter, and even manipulate electromagnetic waves in more sophisticated ways. CCTV described these materials as being unique to China's industry, designed specifically to reduce the radar visibility of the J-35. If effective across multiple radar bands, such materials could provide significant advantages. But again, the details remain scarce. How broad is the effectiveness of these metamaterials? Are they optimized for high-frequency X-band radars, which are most commonly used to detect aircraft? Or can they also counter lower-frequency radars designed to spot stealth platforms? Without answers to these questions, the claim is intriguing but difficult to validate. Structurally, 
The J35 also represents an evolution from the land-based J35A to the carrier-capable J35B. The B variant reportedly includes reinforced landing gear, corrosion-resistant coatings, and folding wingtips to operate from China's Fujian carrier. China's boldest step is positioning the J-35 directly against the U.S. F-35 Lightning II, the world's most widely produced stealth fighter. State reports following the Fujian carrier launch videos went so far as to suggest the J-35 is stealthier than the F-35. Such a claim carries weight, because the F-35's radar cross-section has long been considered the benchmark for fifth-generation stealth jets. The F-35's RCS is widely sighted at around 15 square centimeters, comparable to a golf ball. Unlike the J-35, whose measurements remain classified and unverified, the F-35's stealth profile has been documented through numerous reports and is generally accepted by analysts. The F-35 also has an extensive service record. It has been delivered to multiple allied nations, integrated into multinational exercises, and used in operations where stealth played a key role. That combination of transparency and real-world performance makes its stealth reputation credible. For the J-35 to truly match or exceed the F-35, it would need to demonstrate comparable stealth across multiple aspects, not just forward-facing angles. It would also need to show that its stealth holds up under operational conditions, when carrying weapons, maneuvering at high speeds, or flying in diverse weather environments. Without such proof, the comparison remains theoretical. Beyond stealth numbers, the F-35 has another edge, sensor fusion and systems integration. Its ability to combine radar, infrared sensors, electronic warfare tools, and data links into a unified picture is a defining feature. Pilots consistently note that the F-35 situational awareness is as important as its radar invisibility. The J-35's avionics and systems remain largely undisclosed. While Chinese media stress the J-35 stealth shape and metamaterials, they do not offer details about its electronic suite, leaving an open question about whether it can match the F-35's broader capabilities. The comparison also highlights how China uses messaging as part of its strategy. By claiming the J-35 is stealthier than the F-35, Beijing signals that it sees itself as not just catching up, but setting new standards. Even if the claim is not fully verified, the statement alone has an impact, shaping how the J-35 is perceived globally. The J-35's radar cross-section claim, smaller than a human palm, is more than a technical detail. It's a symbol of ambition. China presents this fighter as a step into the elite tier of stealth aviation, using advanced shaping and metamaterials to back the story. Yet without independent verification, the numbers remain uncertain. What's clear is that the J-35 is designed to challenge perceptions, drawing comparisons with the F-35 and hinting at new capabilities. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.